Three things people with health anxiety do part two. So in part one, I discussed how when people have health anxiety, they often go to the doctor and they get everything ruled out and they get upset by that. They say they want to find something. So they end up going to their doctor repeatedly. However, there's another aspect of health anxiety where people avoid going to the doctor at all cost. They convince themselves that they have something so debilitating, so scary that they just don't want to confirm it. They don't want anything to be there. So what happens is that they avoid going to the doctor altogether. Now, you may think this is an issue with health anxiety, but actually there's two things going on. Number one, they're dealing with intrusive thoughts. They're thinking what if situations and they're believing it to be so true that they're avoiding that situation at all costs, which means the second thing is happening, which is their avoidance behavior is very strong. One thing is clear, okay, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what you read on the internet, the thing is, is that when it comes to medical uh, diagnoses and tests, it is more accurate than it's ever been. You're literally living in the best time to make sure that you've gotten everything ruled out. And when you're avoiding at all costs, even going to the doctor, really what you're doing is that you're really focusing on more of how you feel rather than focusing on what's the right thing to do here, which is just getting everything ruled out. Trust me, that's the best way and it brings the best form of comfort. Now this leads me to number two, which is oftentimes when people experience health anxiety, they're experiencing physical symptoms. Their physical symptoms are very real. However, they keep getting neglected by their doctors so much that they say, screw this, I'm gonna figure this out on my own. And then they end up using the internet. They end up using Dr. Google and they try to figure all this out on their own. Now here's the thing, with the internet comes a lot of misinformation. There's information that's good, but there's also a lot of misinformation. And if you're not able to discern between the two, it's very easy to believe this misinformation. So what happens is they can often self-diagnose themselves. Maybe I have this undiagnosed or undetected autoimmune condition that's very rare. Maybe I have this thing or that thing. They convince themselves of everything. Now what's happening is that their anxiety has a reason to stay alive. They feel like they have to figure this out or fix this. And if you're going into this figure it out mode, well, then anxiety has every valid reason to be alive. So the key is to believe your doctor. They know way more about this stuff than you would think. And if you're unsure, get a second opinion, get a specialist. But after that, you have to draw the line somewhere. Now, that leads me to number three. People with health anxiety always feel misunderstood. They feel like they're almost being judged for making all this up. And the truth is, is that they're not. The physical symptoms they feel are very real. However, the cause of it is not physical. Anxiety can create a lot of physical symptoms. If you want a more detailed solution of how to overcome this, check the comments.